I'm still playing Mass Effect right now. Mm-hmm. All right, have you gotten... How far have you gotten in Mass Effect? So I'm the kind of guy that when I play a video game, I play all the side missions. Um, mm-hmm, me too. I heard people say... First of all, people hate in the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And nice. I think it's actually really good. But I'm also a huge fan of Mass Effect. Like I played yeah. all three of them and completed all of them, which is pretty, which is pretty crazy to think about because um, I never complete games. I just always do the side. It's hard to complete then, games yeah. in our lives, <laughs> just be, like be, especially being a musician. Yeah, all, constantly on the road, it's really hard because there's so many distractions. Yeah, it's you know, especially if you're on the bus and there's only one television. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and like you got to share your time. You can't just be on the bus playing Mass Effect, a well, you 60 know what plus I hour game. I actually got a one of those suitcases with a screen and a PlayStation. Did you really? Yeah. So that I could sit and play. And I got that because of a game, because of Fallout 4. Oh, yeah. So when Fallout came out, I, I, I got that box just because of that, because I didn't want to share. I'm so jealous of you right now. We, I, I actually <laughs> talked about it with my friend on, on the last podcast. We talked about like <laughs> get, getting those getting those things, a suitcase things, and mm-hmm. bring it on the plane. Oh, it's, it's great. It's great. It fits in the <laughs> overhead compartment and stuff. And we're like, it's so great. how do you plug it up? You just, you know, if you're on a plane, you just take the cord and... You know, plug it up in like the lavatory or something. <laughs> in the lavatory. It's like occupied for three hours. <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's right. excuse me. It's like, stop, I'm about to be the boss. <laughs> but I, I played all the all the um the three previous Mass Effects and then I started on on the new one. And I love sci fi. I would say I probably love sci fi more than fantasy. And the RPG games is has always been my thing. I completed Fallout. Never. Well, I started on three. I completed Fallout three, and I completed Fallout four, and I completed. Um, I didn't complete Skyrim. Even yeah, Skyrim's a hard one to complete. I know, but I got to like level fifty six or something. But I never. <laughs> you just completed. keep doing. You just keep finding side quests. You're like, yeah, oh, I gotta do this side quest now. Oh, there's another one. Oh, God, I gotta do that Ex- one now. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's the thing with Mass with the new Mass Effect too. That that. I remember the first one that I was so upset. I literally went to every single planet and did everything, like located every little tiny thing of something I could find because I was so upset that the game was over. Got all the DLC and all that. And the new Mass Effect, I have. I think I'm on the third, the ice planet. I don't remember. Uh, Vold, which one is that? Vold, yes, yeah. Vold. And I did the two other planets completely. And I mean, I think I'm level. 20 something already and i haven't i haven't gotten to <laughs> but i think it's i think you it's level a really up pretty game. fast in this game i yeah. think i'm already level 42 oh wow so you're like, way and i'm not even trying at yeah. this point i'm just yeah. decimating people and yeah. i'm totally fine with that yeah i'm totally like challenge upsets me what's that what's <laughs> like your go-to kind of type character um machine gun in your face yeah. or stealth uh no not stealth i just go in there and guns blazing fucking tear people out die hard style yeah because i you know it's like it's, always, it's over the top shooter so i'm like well yeah i mean but it's cool like what they did with the combat like uh <clears throat> you of course you had the omni blade but i didn't like i didn't find out until later that you can get an asari sword and you just have like it's, it's kind of like a lightsaber and it's not really like if you press if you press the the melee button at the right time you just go in this this kind of animation and automatically lock on your target and you just go like, and you you uh like you can pass through like objects you kind of like teleport Wait, really? to attack yeah I didn't even know that yeah get the Asari sword man research it okay, and okay. develop that it it's pretty cool, fun yeah. I like it I'm still on the Omni Blade so there's stuff like that and I like how you can jump up and then slam down yeah like that's really cool that's really fun so I play as a soldier nice and I like and then but what's cool it's like you can kind of you can kind of cross class a little bit yeah you can learn like more and more biotic yeah, abilities yeah, yeah. They, there's like no because you know in the previous Mass Effects it's like if you're a biotic yeah, you only do biotic you know. stuff yeah, you yeah. can't do soldier stuff yeah. in this game you can do anything you, can do you anything want, you want yeah. even if you choose to be a soldier but yeah. there's cross classes I, lo- I love that yeah also because you unlock other classes and then you pretty much just switch over yeah so I like that yeah. that's cool see there's stuff there's stuff that Ma- the new Mass Effect does that's really cool that it's just it's overshadowed by everyone's hatred for the game I think it so it's very similar in a way to Dragon Age 
to the to yeah. the last Dragon Age, mm -hmm. and it's the same guys that make it that makes it. But I feel like that's a good thing because that was one of the things I was missing a lot, especially in Mass Effect Two, was that it wasn't as open world as the you know, open world is the way to go. Are you talking about Dragon Age Inquisition or that one is pretty open world too? Yeah, but the the one before that was the furthest this from is Dragon Age Two. Like, Dragon Age One was amazing. Dragon Age Two sucked, mm. and then <laughs> and then Dragon Age Three, the new one. I think it's great, and it's very similar to Mass Effect, which is which makes me which makes me wonder why people hate so much. And I heard it. There's a lot of glitches and little weird things, and apparently, the voice acting could be better. I don't. I think it's fine. But yeah, I think it's. I, just I mean, love it's the game and the world of yeah. Mass Effect is incredible. Yeah, I think they did. I think it's a pretty. It's. I I said something last podcast. Where I was like, you know what? It. I wonder what would happen if this game wasn't called Mass Effect. If it had nothing to do with the previous question. trilogy, yeah, like if it was question. just a game on its own and some independent studio just made this game as is. Yeah. And would people think of it differently? Yeah. You know, they don't have to think about Mass Effect in this. This uh, this level that it's yeah. that uh, it's accomplished over the years, yeah, and it's just like a standalone game. I think people would love it. Honestly, I think it's only gonna get better. Oh, you know, you know what it is that I think that people also hate a little bit on that Shepard was such a badass, and this guy's more like a jokester. Yeah, yeah. Which is like, I get that, but at the same time, I don't think it takes away from how cool the world is and, yeah. and if you are into sci-fi like i love sci-fi i love star trek and uh doctor who and star wars and all that uh, the, everything from guardians of the galaxy like any sci-fi i can get my hands on i'm sold like i love sci-fi and i think because of that what's more what's more fun for a sci-fi nerd than exploring somebody's vision of a galaxy and I think it's that's the coolest thing. Like, first of all, any kind of movie like Avatar or those kind of movies about somebody who is a nobody who becomes something. That's always great. Mm -hmm. the, the story of the underdog who becomes a hero. Any superhero movies, yeah. all this stuff or anything, comics, st books, anything. And then on top of that finding ancient technology about <laughs> a civilization that used to be a, because I think I'm nerdy enough to think that that actually is something that we're going to find here on Earth. Dude, Maybe yeah. not necessarily <laughs> technology, but definitely remnants of an ancient civilization. Yeah. Uh, that, I think, is really cool about Mass Effect Andromeda. I think that that was a great direction to put it, like discovering ancient techno because here at least here in america and pretty much over the world like what's that uh that's what's that show that's on uh the history channel now uh about ancient aliens oh yeah i fucking <laughs> fell in love with ancient aliens as soon as it premiered when it was on netflix for like a brief moment mm. i just binged all of the episodes <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> like they're among us they've been among us the whole time um it's but amazing. i think at, like attacking that vein that we just that we have like we have this thing that we need we need to see like have ancient aliens been here before or like, is it just an ancient civilization that humans have already yeah. we've already done this already I think so. I and think we moved so. upon we've yeah. moved on and we've come back that's that's my philosophy but you know what this is all speculation I, so far when when like when I first played it I was kind of on the fence I was just kind of like yeah I'm not feeling that mass effect vibe yet hmm. And it could have been a number of different reasons. And I think it's because, for me personally, at first, the original Mass Effect trilogy was very much a focused narrative. Like, it's mm. not an open... The, none of those games are open world. Yeah. Even, like, even if you could, like, in the first one, you could go to these different planets, there's nothing there. There's, yeah. like, it's only, it's just, like... It's like a house if you're lucky. Yeah, there's, like, a, a base over there, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. And then you, you can go over here and, like, get some treasure, but at the end of the day this is just a blank planet yeah and the second one kind of got rid of that too it kind of got rid of any sort of long maps like that and just like focus narrative yeah but by doing that it brought us into the world because yeah. they they were able to just focus on these maps really and have just like this really intense storyline 
and that and then you, you had some side quests here and there but yeah. all in all it was about the story yeah and then now <clears throat> with mass effect andromeda it's you know they have a a pretty decent narrative going on but they now are now it's like thousands of side side quests so now it's a completely open world kind of game yeah. so now it's not just about the narrative it's just about every other thing that's going on in all these different planets and all these different things that take you away take your mind off of the narrative yeah so i think Do that you- is too why people are kind of upset about like about the direction it went because it, it at, at the end of the day it doesn't really feel like mass effects of the past in some ways it does with the fact that you can go on the tempest and yeah. you know talk to your crew members and stuff like that yeah. and um you can romance your characters which i'm having so much fun with <laughs> of course <laughs> who are when you who are, who are you romancing by the way who's who's caught your eye soren actually so far i've been more I've been. I haven't really romanced anyone yet. You're just actually. like all about the work. But I'm. There's too much work to be done. I, I don't have time for this. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely. Uh, yeah, you know, I have to save the world. <laughs> we have to, we uh, have to colonize yeah, the planet. Yeah. We don't then have we can, time for this. Yeah, I mean, you always have time for a little romance. 